First tonight, we are heading into December, January and February, the coldest months of the winter, the time of year when it's challenging for many Mainers to find the money to heat their homes. There are various agencies and organizations that offer heating assistance, but none quite like the group we met in Booth Bay. If there's one thing that Maine has as the most forested state in the country, it is wood and chainsaws, lots of chainsaws. And as the state with the oldest population in the country, we've got plenty of retirees. Wood, chainsaws, and old guys. They are the indispensable elements of a band of volunteers called the woodchucks. They split wood, stacked it, and covered it, and it froze in. Since 2008, the woodchucks mission has been to provide firewood free to people on the Booth Bay Peninsula who need help heating their home. Sometimes they'll have tears in their eyes because it, they're at a point it's cold and they're out of heat. We have some customers that you wouldn't believe the, the state of their property and kind of how they survive. And if we can just help stay warm, it, uh, it's important. The wood comes from a variety of sources. The tree cutters and the uh, contractors that do yard work, roads and stuff, building lots, and we'll, we'll go get it. Some of them deliver it. The woodchucks cut and store the wood on land they lease from the town. The cost, one dollar a year. They've got equipment, some of it purchased, some of it donated, chainsaws of course, but also splitters, log loaders, trailers, and more. Anything that makes the workload easier. Because most of us are in our 70s or beyond, and so we don't lift as well as we used to. The schedule is unrelenting. Unless the weather is really bad, the woodchucks are out here for a couple of hours every Tuesday and every Saturday all year round. Ask these men, mostly in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, why they do this, and one answer keeps coming up. Great bunch of guys. It's fun. We all have a good time here. Just a good bunch of guys that we, we love hanging out together. They like to talk and enjoy each other's company, but being a woodchuck isn't about schmoozing, it's about working. They do the hard work and then they get to deliver to the households and they get to see the gratitude and tears on someone's face who really had no other way to heat their home right now. So I really like that the benefit of the gratitude goes directly to the volunteers who do the work. Students from Lincoln Academy come by to stack wood and their help is valuable. But given the ages of the woodchucks, it's reasonable to ask, how long will this outfit keep going? Till we all die off. These younger people now, I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it. And you've gotta be retired to be here. Consider Barkley Shepherd. What I do is I, I help run the splitter. He's a retired surgeon, the oldest of the woodchucks. What have you gotten out of participating in it? Learning how to split wood. <laughs> he is 97. Um, I think the most important part is the camaraderie that we share. It's not just the camaraderie or the good deeds that keep the woodchucks coming back. I like to stay active, and this is, you know, not going for a run, but uh, I can't go for a run anymore anyway. So this is, this does it for me. And then I go home, stack my own wood. Last winter, the woodchuck supplied 55 cords to more than 40 homes. Their reward comes when they see the faces of the people they deliver firewood to. We dumped the wood, a woman came out with homemade candles for us. And just, I want you to know how much we appreciate this wood. Please take this and uh, just uh, satisfied for sure. They're very proud people, but they are appreciative and the nicest people in the world, and, and they really like it when we show up and give them a way to make it through the winter. Oh my God. More. <laughs> I want more. Well, you maybe want to see more of the woodchucks because who wouldn't? But you also wonder why aren't there more of these wood banks? Mm. And this is a wood bank, just as there are food banks. Why aren't there more wood banks in Maine? Apparently, you could count the number of wood banks on about five fingers. Wow. And there are so many communities in Maine where it seems as though this program would work. And the woodchucks and, and the groups, uh, the folks they're affiliated with, would like to see it expand to other towns. That would be incredible because I know of so many people who have wood stoves 
that crank, you know, throughout the whole winter, heat in the house. My grandparents were one of them. Yeah. And like clockwork, as soon as it got cold, Grandpa York put the call out. I need someone to come help me split and stack wood. And the York boys would just scurry over. And it's hard work it's to do it. It's hard work. It's hard work, which is what makes what the woodchucks do all that much more impressive because they are not youngsters. No. One of them, 97? Yeah. That is incredible. Barkley Shepherd, a delightful guy. Delightful I guy. Love they it. were all delightful. The Woodchucks program works with the nonprofit Booth Bay Peninsula Community Resource Council. Anyone who'd like to donate to the Woodchucks can do so through the council's website, which we have a link to on our New Center Maine website and app, the 207 section. And if you make a donation, just indicate on the check or in some other way that you want the money to go specifically to the Woodchucks. Oh, great story, Rob. Love that.